What up guys and welcome back to Gameplay where we do all things video games. I'm your host John and today we're going to be talking about how GameStop screwed me over. So if that sounds interesting stay tuned we have an unboxing to do so let's roll that intro. <laughs> GameStop screwed me over. What I mean is they had a sale going on for get all used games 50% off as long as they were $19.99 or below. So I thought this was a great opportunity for me to really just beef up my Nintendo 3DS and DS collection because it's seriously lacking. So I went ahead and I spent $108, yes, $108 on used games from GameStop and all the packages came. I have them here, we're gonna unbox them, but I can tell right off the bat that none of them have a case at all, which completely makes a lot of the value go down. I'm not happy, so let's just get right into the unboxing. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe on this video and let's just hop right into it. So you can tell right away, I am a collector of physical media. I love boxes. I love the physical artwork. I love everything about collecting games. I really don't like digital. Everything I do, like even my Switch collection is all physical for the most part. So here is my very small 3DS collection, right? Let me move this Game Boy over. It's very small. I really wanted to beef it up. And I was assuming that, you know what, these games were gonna come with a case or even just like the GameStop generic case. That would have been better than nothing. But like I said, I can already feel that. There is nothing in those packages but the little cartridges. So let's go ahead and let's go over to the kitchen and, and unbox these things. All right, guys, so here are the sealed packages from GameStop. I have them turned the other side around, obviously for security purposes. But we are gonna go ahead and I have my trusty scissors here. We're gonna cut them open and go one by one and see what I actually got in my order. I'm already a little bit mad because I know that a lot of them didn't come with a case or anything at all. So I'm gonna pull the actual white receipt out and let's go in here. Let me bring it into the camera so you can see. Detective Pikachu. So it was pre-owned at $24.99. I ended up paying half that price. So I'm assuming it was around like $12 or so. Anyways, there is nothing left in this one. I'm gonna go ahead and put this to the side and let's move on to the next one. And let's start cutting. All right, and let's see what we got. Here we go. Let me bring it up to the camera. This is Kirby. Didn't have any Kirby games at all on my 3DS, so I feel like this would be a cool pickup. Next one up, well, Luigi's Mansion is the second one. I have the first one on GameCube and I have the newer one on Switch, so I really wanted that second one that came on the uh, 3DS, so here it is, happy to have it. Mario Party on 3DS, I cannot read what this says. But yes, it is here, Mario Party. I really wanted this game as well. I was really just hoping that they all came with the case. I mean, it's kind of a big bummer. Diddy Kong Racing on Nintendo DS. Yes, I did get a couple uh, old school DS games and I was a big fan of Diddy Kong Racing on the 64. So I was hoping this would be maybe like the same type of experience, but on a portable version of the game. So that's pretty awesome. This one is Mario versus Donkey Kong. I've always seen those games and I've never had the chance to play much of them. So I'm interested to give this game a go. And this is another game that also was on Nintendo DS, 3DS, some are 2DS. And Mario Tennis. Love the Mario sports games. So this is gonna be hopefully a pretty good game that I get to play on the 3DS. So I'm super excited to start playing some of these games. But like I said, I, I don't even know. I might just sell them and get my money back. Here's the last package. Let me or, trust these scissors. And wow, this one actually came a little bit better package. There we go. Get in there. Ah! Well, there goes the games. As you see, let's move this up to the camera. Yoshi's Island. I'm assuming this is like the one from the Super Nintendo. I guess it's like a portable version, I'm not sure. It looked interesting, so I picked it up for the 3DS. Ultimate NES Remix. I've always saw the like the NES Remix games on Wii U, 
so I, I don't have any of those games unfortunately but I saw it here on 3ds and I was like hey I really got to try that game so and let me get that game that like randomly just like flew to the floor so the last game here is Star Fox 64 3d uh, yeah I love Star Fox I had this game on the 64 of course who didn't and I'm assuming this is just like a portable version again for the Nintendo 3DS. Um, definitely really wanted this game. I really wish I would have got a case for this or even the GameStop case, but these little plastic things, these are not okay. I am completely not happy with this. And as a collector, like I said, this is completely terrible. So here's all the games I got. It was 10 games in total and I pretty much paid around $10 each even on some retail for $24.99 and, and, and even more. So I'm pretty sure I got what it's worth, but I'm just not happy that none of these came with the actual case, which really just disappoints. And especially when you're an old school retro collector like myself, this just really grinds your gears the wrong way. So buyers beware. If you buy used games at GameStop, most likely you're not gonna get a case, especially if it's a smaller uh, DS, 3DS. I'm hoping that this trend doesn't continue with the Switch. Uh, that would be really horrible to get just the little Switch games. I would just lose it. It just frustrates me when GameStop doesn't even wanna give you a knockoff case, at least something. These little plastics are just, Completely unacceptable. I mean, I've seen them in the store, yes, I've been to the store and I've seen them in those little plastics, but I was really hoping uh, with my online order I would at least get half of them in some type of casing. Maybe it was me, maybe I didn't read the full description of what it said on the website. I was, I'm a pretty impulsive buyer, so yeah, I was just really excited because they were having a great sale. Uh, with these games, I don't know if I'm gonna throw them in my collection or I'm gonna resell them. But yeah, if you guys like the video, be sure to just comment below, like it, subscribe, and I'll be back making more content for you guys. So stay tuned. This is Game Plug. And until the next video, peace.